everybody. Uh, today is Friday. You did it. God has led you through another week. So praise him for that. Today we continue our daily Psalms for Hope with Psalm 103. So if you want to get out your Bibles and uh, let's look at this. This is a Psalm of David. And so I don't think we're going to read all of it, but let's uh, dig into it here. Verse 1, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth's, youth is renewed like the eagle's. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who, who are oppressed. He made his ways to, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As, as a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, he flourishes like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant, and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. And then verses 20 to 22, David goes through a blessing, bless you, Bless the Lord, all you angels. Bless the Lord, all you hosts. Bless the Lord, all, you, all his works. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. But what another, what, what another great Advent psalm. Um, didn't really look at it like this before, but, uh, you know, our, our Lord has, has come into the world and, and his, uh, I love what he says here in verse 2, and forget not all his benefits. And his benefits... Or that he forgives all, all, your, all our iniquity, heals our diseases, redeems our lives, our lives, crowns us with steadfast love and mercy, and satisfies us with good, so that the youth, so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Um, he, and then further down, he, he does not repay us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. I mean, these are the benefits that God gives to us in f for believing that he has come. And, and because he has come, these benefits are ours. And that's a, that's a real treasure. Um, you know, that, that this God is, is such a, a, a wide and magnificent God, but yet so personal to us. He came into the world just for you. He came into the world just for me. And what a, what, a, what a tremendous thought that is to carry on into the weekend. Uh, that we have a God who doesn't see us for our sins, but sees us for what was done on the cross. And his steadfast love for us is farther than the east is from the west, farther than the, the ground is to the heavens. He is, he is, his love for us is boundless, and he knows who we are, and despite knowing who we are, he still loves us anyway. And what a great thought that is to carry on uh, during this Advent season, that no matter what, uh, his love for us abounds and abounds greatly uh, because of what he did 
coming into this world and dying for our sins and creating for us a way to be in paradise with him. And that's how God sees us. And this is a perfect psalm to, uh, to end the week because this is how God sees us. Uh, meditate on this. Read this a couple of times this weekend. Uh, this is how God sees us. And as David says in the end, bless him for that. Bless him for how he sees us, how he views us, uh, and how he deals with us. So may God's blessings be upon you and uh, wherever and whenever you can be that blessing to others, but also uh, take some time and find a way to worship uh, him this weekend and thank him for all that he has done for you. Till the next time.